Hello you guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. I tried to film this video earlier, but Rocky Boy woke up and I just felt like it was gonna be scattered and different because I was watching the monitor and watching him move and I just knew it wasn't, it wasn't a good start. So I decided just to wait for him to wake up and have him in here. If you guys saw my, I think it was my controversial parenting Q&A, he like definitely chilled the entire time and a lot of you guys liked watching him. So I'm just gonna have him be in this video with me. So today's video is baby products that I regret buying. And I sat down and asked my husband too, like to help me come up with a list. And I was very proud of us that there wasn't like a crazy amount of things on the list. But I just wanted to share with the, you guys just in case you are an expecting mom and you're trying to figure out what you need, what you don't need. And honestly, I wanna be able to look back on this video too. So that is what today's video is. I'm also going to be sharing some items that I did not buy and I'm glad that I didn't buy, if that makes sense. And I've broken the video down into categories. One's clothing, one is like tech gear, and then another one's like accessories. And before I get into this, I'm not trying to like shame any of these products. I just simply didn't like them or my baby didn't like them if they just didn't work for us. So to each their own, I am gonna jump right into it. I have my list as always and we're just gonna start sharing. Okay, so the first category is clothing. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is pajamas. Um, I definitely remember feeling like I needed a ton of pajamas, especially for a newborn because that's pretty much like all they're really in. But the first thing about pajamas that I didn't like were the buttons or the tie-ups. I really only prefer the zip-ups and especially the zip-ups that zip from the bottom so when you're doing diaper changes during the night that means you don't have to like take their entire onesie off and so it just makes that super easy so that they don't get cold i actually bless you baby bless you <laughs> i actually didn't put rocky in pajamas for the longest time we swaddled him naked and about i think he was about a month old we realized that he kept waking up and we thought okay maybe he's cold and so we put him in pajamas and he slept so much better so definitely get some zip up pajamas again this is preference but that is what worked well for us the next item is baby mittens and i don't know if it's just because we had rocky in august which is the summer the hottest month of arizona but we never put mittens on him um one it's just like another thing you have to like put on and wash and like it was just this whole process but two a lot of the outfits come with a little thing that can like go over the hand and he scratched his face here and there but it wasn't like a crazy huge deal so we just didn't really use them at all and along that same line was baby beanies the ones that have like the little tie knot or whatever we never put a beanie on rocky the only time we've actually put a beanie on him is when we brought him to my grandparents cabin up north again it's probably because we live in arizona and it's been summertime and so it's hot um, but yeah, we did not use those. I remember just wanting like a bunch of different colors to like accessorize and I seriously have like probably five or six that I've never even put on him and no longer fit this little head of his. So we will not be buying baby beanies for our next kid. Okay, and then I also just wanted to mention for clothing, I felt like I got the perfect amount of newborn in like zero to three month clothing. We didn't need a ton, but I would suggest getting a few. Rocky was eight pounds, seven ounces, and he still fit into newborns, which they say like up to seven pounds, but I mean, he wore newborn stuff until like he was like at least a month old. So I would definitely get a few things, a couple zip up sleepers for sure. And then maybe a couple cute outfits just because like they're only that tiny ones. And I feel like you just want to have those cute little uh, outfits anyways. But he also fit into zero to three month clothing very soon or very early. And this is still zero to three month clothing. He is a little bit over three months. You can tell it's very snug. He's very long and so it's kind of pulling on his crotch and his head, which this will be definitely the last time that we put him in this, which that's a whole nother video. I'm going to organize my closet. If you guys are curious about that, I'm gonna kind of switch over the clothes that don't fit him and that we're gonna save for the next kid. So that is all for clothing. I feel like we did pretty good on that category. The next category is like tech gear. So just like any kind of like electronics. And the first thing that I have on here is our outlet camera. Um, that thing was like $150. It was definitely not cheap, but we haven't used it specifically because we got a different monitor that has, you guys have seen it in so many of my videos. It's the Dr. Meter, Dr. Meter monitor. It like has a physical monitor that, monitor that you can carry around. There's two things about the phone. One, like when your baby's asleep, you're more than likely probably on your phone. So to be on that app and trying to do something else is not really like practical. I just like having that like physically to be able to see, you know? 
And the other thing is their whole Wi-Fi thing, like no one can tap into our camera and that kind of thing. So there's nothing against that product. I have heard people say that it like kind of has a poor connection sometimes, but we have legit not even turned it on. So I, yeah, kind of regret buying that one. I don't, we haven't returned it yet. We might end up using it once he sleeps in um, his room over the night. But again, I just feel like the monitor makes more sense because that can always be on and yeah. Anyways, we like a physical monitor and camera, not one that connects to the phone. Um, the next thing, sorry, I'm like shaking so much just to try and like bounce him and keep him entertained. But the next thing is a portable sound machine that doesn't rely on batteries, one that can be charged. Ours relies on batteries and it died so many times because we would just like leave it on. And when he was a newborn, we would leave it on and like put it next to him wherever he was sleeping in the house. That way that like we could wash dishes or like just kind of talk without, oh, I'm sorry, baby, having to worry about waking him up. I'm sure a lot of you guys were like watching me and thinking I was a horrible mom right there because I didn't see him throw up, which makes me so sad. I'm sorry, baby. You want this back? Yeah. Okay. And then the last like little tech thing was our swing. We had the ingenuity swing. I think that's how you say it. But Rocky just did not like it. And I don't know if that was just Rocky or what, but like it only goes one way. I feel like if you're going to get a swing, you should probably get like one that has like different movements and is a little bit more to it. I feel like our swing didn't really have anything crazy to it, which is okay, but he just didn't really prefer it. So that is another item that just kind of sits in our house and takes up space. The last category is accessories. And so I'm kind of just going to go through a few of these, but the first one is the type of binky that he likes. So he likes the bibs pacifier and I'm going to take it out so you can see, but you can see that there's like a very big circle right here so that like fits in his mouth but he also doesn't have to be actively sucking it in order to keep it in his mouth the one that did not work for him is the ryan and rose pacifier ones those have just like a straight nipple and i remember the like first night in the hospital we used that one because we thought he liked it and the whole night all i heard was him like sucking the crap out of the binky and i was just like honestly i was like oh my god that's gonna be my nipples and I, that was the point in which like nursing hurt but I realize now it's because he couldn't keep it in his mouth. So he was like sucking super hard to try and keep it in there and it was waking him up and yeah. So we haven't used those in a long time, but again, that's preference to us. I'm not trying to like hate on that brand. There's so many different brands of binkies. I would suggest getting a couple, uh, but just get like one or two of each, see what they like. And then you can purchase the ones that you really want. Oh, the next thing is a burp cloth, which you saw me just use it to wipe Rocky's face, but that's simply because it's, just sitting right here and we bought them and we might as well use them. But if you have a baby, any anything like mine that spits up all the time, do not get these like little tiny burp cloths. Get just swaddle blankets because they're gonna throw up multiple times and we just fold it over, fold it over, fold it over. And this like is not enough surface area for his throw up. So we actually, so that kind of is like a twofer. So we use swaddle blankets for burp rags and then we don't use swaddle blankets for swaddling because Trying to swaddle a baby is so hard. Just get Velcro swaddles. Don't try and mess with the blankets. They can get out of them super easy. And it's just, I don't know. I just feel like it's way too much work. Like literally just get a Velcro one that goes over and over. So easy. I love the nested bean one. I've done a sponsorship with them in the past, but seriously, we use that every single day. Um, it has like a little weighted thing on their chest to make it feel like your hand's touching them. And then there's like little beans on the side to make it feel like someone's like hugging them so that's the swaddle we prefer kids always pulling my hair these days okay the next thing is a bassinet stand that does not move so ours is a rocking one and anytime rocky moves the whole bassinet moves so we have to shove a blanket underneath his stand every single night before he goes to bed so definitely get a bassinet that is like on all fours that does not move i don't know why like i I think I just bought it because that's like what was advertised with it and it looked cute and it seemed like, okay, that's what you get. But yeah, definitely get one that does not move because like I said, that's like a step in our night routine that we have to add is shoving a blanket underneath there so that it doesn't wake him up when he moves. So a couple of products that we didn't really use. One was the Freedom Mom. I kind of mentioned this in my newborn essentials, but the one, the Perry bottle that the hospital gives you works perfectly fine. I just wouldn't waste your money on buying one for yourself. We also bought the Frida uh, Mom humidifier and we have never once used it. I'm hoping that I don't jinx myself with that because like he just hasn't been sick. He hasn't been stuffy, so we haven't needed it. But if it comes a point that we'll need it, then we'll use it because we bought it, but I have not needed one this entire time. So I would say maybe just wait to see if you need that product. 
And then the last thing that we personally don't see a benefit for is his baby laundry detergent. He doesn't really have sensitive skin on his body. His face is definitely sensitive, but his body is not. And so as soon as we're done using that, we're just going to wash his clothes with our laundry detergent. You have spit up on your face, huh? Are you sorry? Hi, sorry. So yeah, those are all the products that we bought that I kind of just feel like aren't worth it. I wanted to share a few products that we did not buy that I am glad that we did buy. The first one is a wipe warmer. Rocky never really had a preference with that. Like he was never wiped as a newborn or a baby and bothered by it being cold. And I kind of just feel like if you do get one, then they always need to be warm or they're gonna be bothered. Like, and it's just a whole extra step. So we did not get a wipe warmer and we did not need one, huh baby? Do you wanna play? He normally, when he wakes up, just like plays and gets all of his energy out. So the next thing is shoes. I know it's super cute to get baby shoes, but we have legit never put shoes on Rocky. I do think I'll get a pair for him like when he's like six months old, even if he's not like moving yet, but just because I feel like once they get older, shoes make sense. But yeah, we legit have not spent a dime on shoes and I am glad that we haven't wasted our money there. And then, oh, the last thing I talked about was newborn clothes, which I already mentioned on there was just like not buying too many. So I think that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed my little star appearance Rocky boy here. I'm going to let him play and yeah, let me know if you guys want any other videos based on like just baby things. I feel like baby things are so fun to talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. You're so sweetie. You're so sweetie. <gasps> Abu. <gasps> Abu. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs>